thinking you were made for me It's in my birthday yet yeah, Cause I gotta say you're looking like a gift for me Okay, so now that you guys have seen the exterior of the home We're gonna go on in so I can show you just how beautiful this home is Sorry for the noise, you guys know that these places are normally right on the side of a highway and this one is no different. So, this is your porch. Big, beautiful porch. Love the stonework out here. Love how wide it is. You could really do a lot with this porch. So, really nice. This is your front door. You can always change the door to whatever you like. But I think this is a nice door. I love the two windows on either side. And then when you walk into the home, this is what you see. Okay, so I'm gonna go over, spin around and show you So that is your front door. Love your entry. Beautiful chandelier. The door has been painted white to match the interior. Really lovely. To the right of the door, you have your office. Now I absolutely love the office the way it is. I'm a rustic type of girl. So the beams that cascade down the walls and the open concept shelving, the decor, all of that speaks to my heart. But as I'm looking at the office, I think the only thing that it's missing is walls. Now, vision this, the office just the way it is, but with glass walls. So on the side of the office where the front door is, I would have double doors, glass doors, to enter the office but the walls of the office would not be open it would be glass so that when I'm in the office it's soundproof I can't hear what's going on outside and you can't hear what's going on inside the office I know it would probably be a pain to keep clean unless you invest in a good squeegee <laughs> but I think that would set it off that would be absolutely perfect for this room Now across from the office, you have the formal dining room. Absolutely love the feature wall. I love the way they um, designed that wall. I actually also love the chandelier in this room. Again, I'm a rustic girl. So the way this house is decorated speaks to me, but I really can see it being glammed up as well. I think if I was to have that mirror in the middle, it'd be trimmed in gold and not black or either silver to match the chandelier. And I, I love those six pictures on that wall as well. I think they did an amazing job just showcasing how you could decorate this home. And I think it's absolutely beautiful from the flooring to the ceiling. So there's not much that I would complain about when it comes to this house. This formal dining room is beautiful. It's the right size. This table seats eight, so you could probably put a 10 or a 12 seater in the space and still be okay. It would be great for um, entertaining. You have a door that leads directly into the kitchen as well as into the common areas of the home. So absolutely beautiful and well done. I even like the positioning, like coming into the home. I love the positioning of this room. I think this room is beautiful. Like I don't have much to say about it. Not sure if I would put a door here or leave it open, but if there was a door, it would be a French door right there if that was my choice. Me personally, I would leave it open. So again, this is the entryway, you guys. You have your office and dining room. Uh, right at the front door and then on into the rest of the house you see this big beautiful kitchen dining room and living room ceiling absolutely fabulous i wouldn't change a thing the ceiling is absolutely beautiful the beams 
have been painted white. I love the design of it. I love the peak. I, I just absolutely beautiful. Love the two chandeliers, one in the kitchen and one in the living room. Absolutely beautiful. The living room is just the right uh, space, amount of space for this room. Love that there's a fireplace here. Um, I would probably paint the wall that the fireplace and TV is on another color, possibly the green, the same olive green that the kitchen cabinets are would probably be my choice because I do love the color of the kitchen cabinets and that would be my feature wall color. Now that particular feature wall did, does have um, some texture to it. But because it's the same color as the walls, it's really, really hard to see. Again, they beautifully decorated this place and I absolutely love it though. I think for the most part when you enter these homes um, that are decorated for you, they mainly do give off a rustic type of feel. But remember, that doesn't have to be a deal breaker because for instance, th this home, you're not purchasing this home you are this is a model of what you can have so the chandeliers the floor color the fireplace the feature wall the fireplace is in the cabinet colors every single thing about this home you decide what it is that you want this home to look like so if you like the bones of the home that you're touring, just because you don't like the way it's decorated or the kind of chandeliers that they use, doesn't mean that this isn't the home for you because you can decorate it the way you want. So keep that in mind. A lot of times I hear people say, oh, I don't like those chandeliers. I don't like those cabinet colors. I, I wouldn't um, have those floor, the floor color whatever the situation and they give it a thumbs down or they really talk about it but you know it's really really up to you even the beams in this living room as beautiful as they are white what if you wanted them the same color as the beams in the office you could do that or if you didn't want beams you could do that as well so let's go into the kitchen you guys love this kitchen it's looking kind of gray but the the kitchen cabinets in here are kind of a greenish color they have the uh like of olive green I, i'm not i know i'm not particularly talking about the things that you're looking at directly i'm giving you the opportunity to look at the home and you can comment below what you like about it but things like the soft clothes features or the sink in the island you guys can see that for yourself I'm just, I'm very enamored by the house. I love all of the additional features in here, including the lighting in the kitchen under the cabinets. And that switch that I just hit actually turns those lights on and off. I, I mean, I don't have long arms, so I couldn't actually show you, but it turned the lights on and off on the island. But this home is absolutely beautiful. And it's so much to see that I just want you to take, take it in for yourselves. There's a lot of storage space in the house, a um, lot of room for different changes if that's what you want. But this home is absolutely be beautiful. Again, this is a stick built home. So designing this home, this is a, a lot, a, just a model lot. So you're not actually purchasing and taking this home or purchasing and moving into this home. It's just a model of what you can have. So. You guys tell me down in the comments what you like about the home. I absolutely love this home. I'm not sure if this would be a home that my husband and I would be interested in building. Not because I don't think it's beautiful and I wouldn't love to live here. It's just two of us. So it does seem like a lot of house for two people, especially when you think about the keeping it clean aspect but i would love to live in this house you've got a nice oven you've got a built-in microwave above the oven lots of cabinet and counter space lots of drawers um love the stainless steel appliances in here just absolutely beautiful the backsplash is beautiful and it's gas and i haven't lived 
in a home with gas in so long. This is a five burner gas stove. Love it, absolutely love it. So take in the kitchen and living room together. Could you imagine what you would do with this home? Like so much space in here. If you wanted to put a little um, table here also in front of these sliders, you could have an eating kitchen as well as the formal dining room. Um, but with that big counter space, I probably wouldn't. But there is some empty space right there that you could do something with if you chose, even if it was a little desk area. Now out here they have a screened in back porch, huge back porch. Doesn't look screened in, I'm realizing. When I was filming, I realized, so I tapped the screen to show you that the entire porch is screened in. So much space out here. Love the wood touches on the ceiling and the can lights. Love the little chandelier. I would probably have a ceiling fan though but I absolutely love the look of this screened in back porch. And with the furniture out here, it just makes it super, super cute. So really nice. Um, again, this is an option, but it's definitely an option that I would choose. Huge sliders, um, just beautiful. I'd love to have coffee out here in the mornings. Uh, depending on where the house is, watch the sun rise or set from out here. Just absolutely beautiful porch. Very nice. Really nice. And looking at it again, there is really space. Maybe a cute little round table or something there. A two-seater table for breakfast. Make it a little breakfast nook. Really nice. We're going to check out the additional bedrooms now. So on this side of the house, you've got two bedrooms and a bathroom. Now this first bedroom has a faux brick wall, but it looks real to me. I think it's so cute. Uh, probably a boy's room. Really nice though. That is a faux brick wall. It's actually wallpaper. This is a nice size room. That's a either a full or a queen size bed. Give you a close up look of that wallpaper and it just really does look like brick but you have a nice size room in here this is bedroom number one of your additional bedrooms your closet has double doors right here i'll open them and let you take a look uh even though it's carpet in this room there's no carpet in the closet so you've got storage space and everything in this room all right, moving on next to this bedroom, you do have a sort of linen closet out here in the hallway. Adequate space to store your linens for this side of the house. And then next to it, you have a bathroom. Now, I love the brick look of the tile that's in this bathroom. And I appreciate how much space there is on the sink as well as the transom window. Taking a closer look at the shower, you've got shelving for your personal hygiene items, and that's a really nice tile. And the way they um, alternated the colors, it really does look like brick. So, very well done. This is a really nice bathroom. All right, and the last bedroom on this side is the second bedroom. Now, this one has actual brick the brick is painted white which i thought was a nice touch so i could see a boy in the first one and a girl or a boy in this one um but i really like the touch how they how the brick theme kind of went with both rooms so really nice another nice size bedroom and the same closet so let's look around again and then we'll take a look at the other side of the house
so that'll do it for this side of the house we'll go through and take a look at the other side now on the opposite side of the house you have uh, a few nice features those stairs uh, lead to an upstairs I will call it a man cave if it was my house but it has some features that could make it I don't know a classroom a playroom the children's hangout area etc so as you can see they put not only seating area to watch TV but there are two desks in here there's lots of lighting and windows in here this would be a great whatever room okay my husband would love this for a man cave but I could totally see it for a multi-purpose room or a, or the kids hangout spot it would be absolutely wonderful for anything that you chose it to be even storage this is a nice area up here um, and I think they did a beautiful job showcasing what it could be used for you could even put a TV there in front of the couch um, and there are vents up here so it'd be nice and cool or either nice and warm depending on what time of year it is so very very nice and again it's the only room at the top of these stairs so use your imagination what would you do with it I know one thing I better turn around and look where I'm going so anyway again that is the uh, upstairs bonus room on the now downstairs has been modified this would actually be your laundry room if this was your home that would be your laundry room and next to the laundry room would be your half bath okay so this room is correct but the other bathroom would be your laundry room now this room would be completely different you would have like this entry but this right here would be your garage so imagine it's your garage and you're walking in so to the left you would have your restroom your half bath that's there for your guests right here you would have a coat closet next to the garage and then again your laundry room and your stairwell now on the opposite side of the stairwell this is your primary bedroom main bedroom master whatever you want to call it this would be your bedroom now take a look at this bedroom you guys so this bedroom is absolutely gorgeous there's enough space for a king size bed and plenty of room i would probably put a bench under that window look at this bedroom though it's absolutely beautiful this huge huge bed i even love the headboard absolutely beautiful the ceiling oh my goodness so pretty it's got a simple chandelier that hangs from it i think it's absolutely perfect it's like an extension of the floor so beautiful so so beautiful this bedroom i could just sleep comfortably now here's your primary closet it is shaped a little funny but i think it helps you to be able to put more things in it so i will put my long items over here and then you have both of these walls for storage space on the top as well as tops and bottoms have their own section so really really nice two people could share this closet without a problem you could even put a little makeup table or dressing table or dressing bench in that closet as well and then across from it you have the primary bathroom which is absolutely gorgeous love 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 it same color cabinets in here as in the kitchen love these uh sinks that are kind of raised above the counter space beautiful love it absolutely love it love the big mirrors that you have in here and also the lighting over each sink is absolutely beautiful love all the marble in here just absolutely beautiful look at this tub you guys matter of fact let me show you how deep this tub is so if you come around and stand from this side you have this big huge window that you can look out of while you take a bath look at the size of this tub absolutely 
beautiful. This tub was so big, I had to actually show you what I look like inside. Listen, can you imagine a bath in this tub? Like, this, look at the size of this tub, you guys. There's so much space in here, okay? There's so much space in this tub, I love it. So if I was ordering this house, I'd have to have the same tub that they had in this house. Absolutely beautiful. Now the tub isn't the only feature of this bathroom that's absolutely beautiful. Let's take a look at the shower, you guys. So in the shower room, you have the toilet in here, but you also have this beautiful shower made up of the same marble as the rest of the bathroom. You got a linen closet with adequate, adequate space. You got glass doors that go into the shower. In the shower, you have a bench. You have uh, space to put your toiletries. You have your shower head uh, on that wall, just out on either wall. Just absolutely beautiful. Now, it's kind of a similar shape to the closet, and that's, I believe, it's because of the position that it's in in the home bathroom is absolutely beautiful so you guys i hope you have enjoyed this tour if you have all the information to this home is down in the description box below please contact Schumacher homes they don't list the price of the homes but if i can find it on the website i will put it on the screen i hope you've enjoyed this tour and if you have Give us a big thumbs up down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.